or my condensate loop on the Trollson. Ah! The Headless Horseman. There it is. I dropped these buggers. And I killed the gauges. I gotta get some new gauges for them. Look. Dweeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
and then here's the existing ones. You can see the difference if you don't if you don't um, if you don't ream them out. So make sure you get them reamed out. So I'm going to ream these two, then we'll get that thing fitted up in there. Big difference. Come on, camera, you want to focus for Dave? There you go. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the fastest swedge, fastest swedging tool ever made. And it uh, works really well. Yep, yeah, that's the fastest swedging tool. Right there, the old copper couplings. I learned that from a guy named Rizzo, Frank Rizzo. He worked upstate. Condensate lube, TXV. You want to put the TXV in upside down so if you have to make an adjustment, you can get to the stem. If you put it with the power head on top, yeah, good luck making an adjustment on that TXV. So you want to install it like that. And I'm a pipe nitrogen purge going right there. I'm a big blue hose. Uh, I do have a video about my nitrogen rig. It's back there somewhere that I have to find a leak and stick it on there for you guys. But you can browse through my videos. That'll help me out a bunch. And uh, the camera light. So now I got to do my nitrogen uh, deviation test. And then we can get it on the vacuum pump. And we'll try out the uh, True Blue vacuum hose with the field piece vacuum pump. We'll see, how, uh, we'll see how fast it can pull down this little system. Kind of excited to try that out. I hope you are too. All right, we're gonna get ready for this vacuum deal. I got fresh oil in the field piece. I got the True Blue vacuum hose, the big one. Uh, this is my micron gauge, is the little mini blue vac. It's upside down. Got the ballast open up there. Let's turn it on. Oh, let's start the timer. Well, let's turn it. Start the timer, and then we'll turn it on. Give it a sec. All right, we're vacuuming. Seconds in. Yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Little tiny Trollson unit. There's one hose. That's the only access port I have on this system. It's the low side of the compressor. Alright, we got some action going right there. 31 seconds in. It's coming on down. Approaching one minute in. Okay, one minute. Twenty-six hundred. You guys want me to keep filming or zoom back in? You guys have heard me joking around calling that the big blue smurf boner. I had seen it on one of Stephen Reardon's videos and he was like wrestling with that thing. And I was joking with him. I'm like, oh, you wrestled the smurf boner. And then I kind of gave it that name. Oh, uh, let's see, we're almost two minutes in. Slowing down a bit here. That's at two minutes right there. 20 minutes and 7 seconds. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I do have fresh oil in the vacuum pump. I just changed the oil. We're pulling with a half inch connector on the hose. That's the nice thing about the field piece vacuum pump is the tree. You get a quarter inch, a half inch, and two three-eighths. If I had another port on here, even though I don't have another true blue hose, I, I could have hooked up my two three-eighths hoses with this hose. Um, 
I could probably do that on some bigger walk-ins and stuff when we get down the road there. So let's see where we're at at three minutes. We're getting there. Five, four, three, two, one, three minutes. 1820. Coming down the mountain. I'll tune it back in when it's when we get to 500 or under so we can see how long that took. note on these Trollsons when you restart them there's like about a four minute time delay before your evaporator fans kick on there you go, 55 degrees so when it first runs give it a while then check it give it five minutes uh, and then make sure your fans come on because there is a time delay for the evaporator fans in the logic that's a heads up right there so with the evap fans running I got a compressor superheat that's settling down you can see it's adjusting uh, the box is still hot. Let's see what our evaporator temperature is. Yeah, 28 degree evaporator. So we're still, uh... but I'm just checking compressor superheat right there, as you can see. The unit's super tiny. Um, we'll see what that looks like when this temperature here comes down our box down. All right, so that's settling in nice. There's my suction pressure. There's my compressor superheat. Uh, 21 degree evaporator, I'm liking that. And let's see what temp the box come down to now. We're already down to 47 and dropping, so we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm stepping on stuff. Getting, it's pretty dark back here. Let me come back here and turn the lights back on again. There's a motion sensor. Lights. Coming on down the mountain. Get that beer cold, Dave. Uh, I'm liking where that's riding at. That's not bad. Not bad. Let's get done with that Trollson. What time is it? 7:18. Uh, my filming on that job fell apart. I forgot. I wanted to use my GoPro for some hands-free filming, and I left it at home. And uh, let me turn that video down. That music. And then I. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I dropped the iPad, and uh, it was an old iPad. It was the family's iPad, then the daughter's iPad, then the wife's iPad, then my work iPad. Really old one with the big connector uh, for the battery hookup. But, uh, yeah, I s shattered the screen on that dude. And, and the video just kind of went apart, so I got what I could. Do me a favor out there, like and subscribe. Um... But that's pretty much it for the Trollson. I like the way the pressure's ended up on that thing and how it's running at the end. Um, I did get to use the big True Blue uh, vacuum hose. However, that system took a long time to pull a vacuum on. And I think probably there's probably moisture in that system. And that TXV probably wasn't restricted. It's probably iced up because of moisture. They had that look on it, too, the other day when I went out there, too. You know where there's a big ball of ice on your TXV? You know, it's normally froze up. That'll happen or the moisture will freeze up in your expansion valve. And I'm pretty darn sure that's what happened on that unit. So, it got the new condensate loop, the new TXV, bigger dryer. I always do that. I don't know why. It probably doesn't make a difference. Um, on a TXV unit, you can do that. If it has a cap tube, you want to use a cap tube dryer. Because, you know, they say the you don't want the dryer becoming a receiver. You don't want a receiver on a cap tube system. What else? That's basically it. It's a Wednesday night. I got to head to the house and put my trash cans out. Tomorrow's trash day. Um, other than that, man, that's about it. There's some snow up in the mountains. I'm going to probably try and get some snowboard video action going couple clips on Sunday. I'm going to take the day off Sunday and go snowboard. We'll see how that works out. <clears throat> All right. Take care.